Um, and that, yes, they have like good little snacks on set. Sometimes yeah. it's like pita and hummus or the best you know, snacks. Salad. The best. Love it. Sometimes guac yeah. and chips. You never know what you're going to get. No, you don't. It's great. Someone says coffee or tea. Both. <laughs> I'm a coffee. I'm definitely, I've, I've become a coffee person in the last like seven, eight years. Ooh. Um, but I, and before that I only did tea and now I do both. I think tea in the afternoon, coffee in the morning. Love that. You're like tea them? to keep you going. So you're not crazy by the end of the day, but yes. coffee to like get it going. Yes. I, I love that. Um, someone said, if you could be a villain, who would you be? <laughs> I would probably be Wildcat. I love the idea of being able to crawl up a building and just. Oh. But yes. I like, I don't know. Wait, that's a villain. No, She's a hero. It's okay. She's it's a okay. hero, but I would probably want to be a hero. Yeah, I hear you. You're like, I want to be good. Yeah, I think I want to be good. I mean, Got it's it. always fun to be bad too, but it's fun to be bad like in a nice way. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I mean, because, yeah, Yolanda has just, like, been through a lot. So she's, like, kind of angry. Or not kind of. She is angry. Yeah. And so, in a sense, like, she could be mean, but she's not. But yeah. so she's a hero. But, like, it only would take a switch, I think, to make Yolanda evil, you know, because she's already so angry. Yes. I think it would be, it could be easy to and pull her And you could really destroy somebody with claws. I mean. Right. Her claws are awesome vicious like, yes it's like freddy krueger like Ging! right exactly <laughs> someone asked me um a similar question like who would i be if i could be uh, a hero but not myself and i also said wildcat oh you I was did? Like, yeah yeah i mean because it's awesome she's like crawling up on the wall she gets to do all these super cool stunts and like it and just is so cool off of like a 10 foot a 10 what is it not 10 foot building yeah a story building and yeah. land on your feet and on not feet. get hurt right that's kind of cool it's incredible who doesn't want to do that slice every metal thing you, you want you know, <laughs> I know. it would be, be so game. awesome i love it okay i know you have to go soon so let me just get like two more questions in okay um this is from the real cody who I realize I should probably start saying their names like hi the real Cody underscore fry. If you got to cross over with another CW DC comic show, which one would you cross over with and why? <laughs> to be honest, I still have to do my research. That's okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. I said the flash only because they film in Vancouver and I want to leave. I've never filmed out of the country ever. Oh. So I would, I would love to do that. You want a little Vancouver action? <laughs> I do. I just want to like have to use my passport to go somewhere, you know? <laughs> like I just want to be like, I get to go film in another place where I need a passport. Like that just sounds you, cool. You could do movies there. I could, but I, I haven't yet, but I would love to. I think they're, they're, they're coming one day. One yeah. day they're coming. Yeah. And like, it's either Vancouver or Toronto. <laughs> right. Right, right. Or I actually have, um, I think it's Vancouver Studios. Is it Vancouver Studios or Toronto Studios? I think it's Vancouver. It's on my vision board because I really want to go there and <laughs> wow. film something. Okay. Yeah. You'll, get, you'll get there for something, I promise. I hope so. It'll be really great. <laughs> okay, I look forward so to it. So the Flash, yeah. So the, just because they yeah. filmed there. Okay. Yes, and I thought about it. I was like, the easiest would actually be Black Lightning because they're also in Atlanta and we share a lot of the same crew. Yeah. But whatever but that would just be too easy right of course it would oh someone said how would someone get into acting that's a lot um i i feel like actually people moving to atlanta have a easier time of getting yes. smaller roles that could build your career absolutely in la because they're always looking for actors there so right i agree i've told people that many times um, we do a lot of local casting on our show. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're completely right. It's a lot easier to, and there's less competition. There's not as many actors, whereas, like, L.A. is, like, everyone's an actor. So yeah. and, it's a lot. And Atlanta is, they say, bigger than Hollywood as far as what's filmed there. So Yeah, there's more there because there's tax breaks and all types of stuff. Right. So there's a lot more opportunity. Um, someone asked, oh, let me scroll up. 
Okay. Can anyone um, be an actor? <laughs> yes, but you have to work really hard. And it takes perseverance. And it's it, everyone has their own journey into it, I feel like. Right. The acting, you know, how they got their break, in what way, right. you know, I don't think there's like a, a sh it's not like going to medical school and then being like, okay, now I'm a doctor. I think right. being an actor is like, it's so ch specific and challenging and um, personal how each person gets their own break. Yes, I agree. I agree. And it's so different for everyone. So you just never know. Um, yeah. Stargirl Pod, our favorite people. Hi, Sean. He said, what's your favorite Stargirl podcast? It's you. It's hey, you. It's all you. <laughs> it's all you, Sean. <laughs> it's all you. You guys follow Sean if you haven't listened to the Stargirl podcast. It is, um, I will, I just, I just added him, but it's literally at Stargirl Pod. Um, podcast and he has interviewed all of us I'm pretty sure so it's really great so if you guys want to listen to a podcast that has like actually us and also he he works for Stargirl so it's even better he gets like the best of both worlds so I recommend um and the last question before I let you go because we have to go um what is your um favorite scene you've shot that's aired so far that's aired so far okay um, gosh, it's so funny because we shot one hour episodes. Right. And I've noticed that some scenes have been snip snipped. Yes, a lot. Because, <laughs> so there's a couple scenes that I'm like, wait, I shot a scene here and it's not there anymore. Um, I mean, I think that my favorite scenes are with Breck and Trey and Luke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the family scenes. Stuff. Yeah. Because it's just like a fun dynamic. It's like these two typical teenagers that are just like a little bratty and yeah. trying to figure things out and, you right. know, being kind of difficult. And I just want to love them up as a mom and trying to make my husband happy and trying to go to work and trying to find a, a new right. life in a new town. And But, yeah, it's the town I grew up in. So it's just like has all these like fun little dynamics. Somebody just wrote the taco volcano. Yeah, it was <laughs> really a fun like that. Literally, the take that they used uh, um, on the episode is scared us all because it literally exploded. Oh my God. Um, and we were like, <laughs> oh my god! And they used it because then we shot a couple more takes of it just like coming out and just right. like over. And they're like, oh, that's how it should have been. But they used the really fun outburst volcano. I love it because that was like the most natural reaction. Everyone was like, oh, it actually really exploded. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I love it. Oh, well, thank you, Amy, for coming uh, on and chatting with me. And well, I so appreciate good to see you. It. It's I can't so wait. good to see you. I can't wait to have season two. Nothing's official, <laughs> but I really hope it happens. Me too. I'm like crossing my fingers. Like I hope, hope, hope and pray that we I get know. a season two. I just want to go back to Atlanta and be with all of you again. It would be so great. Me too. I know. I think we're going to make it happen. Let's make it I happen. I think so. I hope so. It's okay. going to be great. Well, I love you. Thank um, you for coming love on. You, okay. you were so great. And everyone, thank you for watching. Thanks, Thanks for being here. Bye, you too. Bye, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Amy is the best. We love her. Yes, someone said hashtag girl power. That's right. And um, I will be back later today with someone from the ISA who I don't think has been on um, a live here for Stargirl yet. So it's going to be really exciting. And yeah, I'll keep you guys updated in the posts. Bye guys.